up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 5 of Alice Tozoroku. And this is one episode I didn't expect in the series, like an episode mainly filled with action. And not only that, but it felt like a major arc was completed with this episode. And it's not too often where we get anime like this where in the middle or in the beginning of the series we finish a major arc and it ends with something that feels like the finale of the season or finale of the show. One anime that comes to mind that does this a lot is High School DxD. But you know what? I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not complaining. This episode was totally badass. I did not expect all that action whatsoever. Now we know why they were saving the budget. It wasn't just for the opening, it was also for this very episode. And that was money well spent. We found out that Ichijo is the same person that saved Sana back over in episode one and that Ichijo developed these powers after she obsessed over this one magical girl series and now she has over 600 cards is what Mini C calls them but basically over 600 weapons and 13 grimoires so hot damn Ichijo is powerful almost as powerful as Sana but the main difference between Sana and Ichijo is the fact that Sana can manipulate time uh, sort of if you remember in the previous episode Sana she was able to get her out of the terrible situation that she was in like when she got shot in the leg she freed herself from mini C's clutches and Zoroku as well I'm pretty sure Ichijo can't do that I mean I know she does have 13 grimoires so perhaps she could do something close to what Sana can do but not to that extent because we know that Sana is the most powerful one of all the other Alice of Dream users out there and Come on, it was so totally sweet when Zoroku said that he's bringing home another granddaughter. I'm just like, Zoroku, oh man. Honestly, like for an anime called Alice to Zoroku, we really don't have that much screen time with Zoroku except for, you know, episode one in the previous episode. So hearing that Zoroku has softened up rather quickly and is ready to take care of Sana really made me get all the blushies. And I was just like, oh. Like, I, was, I said that out loud, like I had to, just, oh, that was, that was so sweet. And now Sanaya, she's really excited to show Sana more places on Earth, so you know, the zoo, theme parks, aquariums, just typical things that people like to go to. Nothing too extreme, it's not like they're going out of the country, of course they could, with Sana's power, but Sanaya wants to show Sana what everyday people like to do for fun, and that's really cute. Another shocking thing that I didn't expect was for the facility to be shut down. We're only halfway into the series, so what's gonna be the threat next? Will the facility come back, except not the facility, the people that worked in said facility, will they come back and get their revenge on Sana or are, or will there be a new foe coming in to the forefront? I mean, we haven't seen all of the Dreams of Alice users. For example, the boy, we still haven't seen him use his power, I think he's a boy. But everyone else has been arrested, so what's gonna happen next? I'm going to assume that next week's episode is gonna be a very moe, happy episode, just to get a breather after this whole arc, and then in episode 7, we're probably going to figure out what's going to be the next trouble brewing. So let me know your thoughts on this episode. Do you prefer more episodes to be like this? Do you think it's the best episode yet? Or do you prefer the series to be more moe, kawaii? I'm your female Otaku. Sayonara.